Hi, welcome back to my channel, Manga Hoarder. My name is Laura, and today I am showing you some of my collection. Uh, of course, there's multiple parts. Um, definitely go back and watch that original video. And then um, if you want, there will be a playlist linked in the description below. You can watch all of the videos in order uh, once they've all been posted. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Um, so we're back at the top, and again, just like I said before, this one has books behind it. This is the last of the top shelves that are double stacked. And uh, hard for me to reach. What have we got here? Uh, we've got Fruits Basket, uh, Fujoshi Rumi, which was dropped. It's sort of an otaku title. Although I think you can keep reading this one online, digitally. Uh, Fuku Fuku Kitten Tales, just volume one. Uh, Full House, we only have two and three, but we're working on it. Uh, Galaxy Angel, I think just random, but it looks like one, two, three, four, five, so I could be wrong. And then Galaxy Angel Beta. Um, they're newer to our collection, so I'm not sure uh, what we need. Uh, the Garden of Words, which I haven't read yet, which is weird. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. I think we have all of uh, Gate. And then we have gate 7, and gate keepers, and Genju no Seiza volume 1, that's the same author as um, Pet Shop of Horrors, uh, Genkaku Picasso, uh, we do have all of it, just not on the shelf, and then Genji Ken, uh, and finishes up all this shelf. And this is what's happening in the room at the moment, because I got interrupted. Here's Jenny's October TBR, um, and there's me planning out some videos for the month, so it's becoming a bit of a disaster again. So on the top we've got, there's a Japanese volume which I can't read from here, Kigurumi Guardians, uh, King Yo Yu's books, every manga reader should read, um, Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight, Kon, uh, Lagoon Engine, La Quinta Camera, Legend of Kamui, which I would love to read, but I don't know that the whole thing actually made it out. Let's Stay Together Forever, Lie to Me, Lissalot, and Witch's Forest, which I think is on hold. Love and Lies, I don't think I have the whole thing yet. Uh, Love Song, which is short stories. Ludwig B, which uh, is incomplete, but I think it just never was completed. Uh, Lycanthropy Leo, which I think was dropped. Uh, Lychee Light Club. Uh, Ray Earth in the uh, flipped, like the large flipped edition, and then we have My the Psychic Girl, and you saw My at the bottom of the other case. Um, you can see that there are uh, one, two, three right there at the top corner, and then a volume one. It's because we have both editions, um, as well as the single ed editions, or the floppies, um, so these ones came out at different times, and uh, the older edition is four volumes, and then the newer-ish edition, which is also old, is three volumes, so we have both. It's a beautiful series if you can get your hands on it. Not the best writing, but beautifully illustrated. Anyway, let's get close and check out the rest. I'm continuing to hope that you can see this because I can't, um, but we have Genshi Ken, and then Genshi Ken Second Season, which continues, the light novel, which my sister moved there because the rabbits were eating it. Uh, Gentleman's Alliance Cross. Geo Breeders, a volume I can't see. Uh, Gestalt, which I must say that uh, OVA was one of my favorite things to watch in anime. It's uh, not that good, but I just really enjoyed it. I've seen it a million times. Uh, Ghost Hunters, I think. Get Backers. And get her Robo Devolution. In the front row, Ghost Talkers Daydream. I don't recommend. Also, I think it was dropped. Uh, Gigantomaxia. Uh, some of the themes I wouldn't recommend, but it is beautifully illustrated. Uh, Gintama, we only got to volume six. I stopped buying it because I didn't care for it. Uh, I may pick it up again in the future. Uh, Girl from the Other Side. I don't think we're caught up, um, but I might have a volume downstairs. Uh, the Girl Who Runs Through Time, I think the novel is better. Uh, girl Got Game, 
horrible name. Rewriting of the name. I can't remember what it was supposed to be called. Uh, but at any rate, uh, the renaming for English is terrible. Also, the worst finale to a manga ever, but really super enjoyable up to the finale. <laughs> the Gods Lie, uh, Go Go Heaven, one of the weirdest stories ever. Uh, Goku Midnight Eye, and then select volume of Golgo 13, which I think was dropped, um, but we're missing volume 2, 3, and then I think some others. Um, if there's more past 14, otherwise we're just missing 2, which is amazing. Uh, Gone, which you should read. Goth, uh, Good Witch of the West. Go with the Clouds, North by Northwest is new. Uh, Gravitation, which I think got dropped. Ah uh, yes, because um, Jen accidentally bought this volume thinking that she was getting some like continuation, but it's in German. Um, back when we did realize Tokyo Pop was still alive. Guardian Angel Get 10 was dropped, but then it was republished in, um, I don't know, Magical Angel Get 10 or something? I can't remember. Shugo Go Get 10. Shugo Get 10? Uh, Gunblaze West, Western title by Rurani Kenshin author. Gundam Hikoldu CL, which I believe is a shoujo manga. Um, it was dropped. Uh, Gundam Seed. And then in the front, uh, we have Gundam 0079, but we're missing volume one, so we have two through eight. Gundam Seed Astray, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, Gundam Wing Episode Zero, Two volumes. I think they're just like short one shots. The uh, Endless Waltz series. Then we've got Gunslinger Girl. Again, another complaint if you're looking for spine continuity. Uh, first few were published by ADV. I think Seven Seas did republish these, but in omnibus, and I'm always prefer a single volume. Gunsmith Cats. Then uh, Gyakushu, which is an American comic, and IQ, which I think I'm behind on, but we'll see. I really didn't expect to be showing you all of the, the backs of these <laughs> these shelves, but here's IQ. I know I'm not caught up, but there is quite a lot. I've only read the first volume up to 28. Uh, Hajime no Ippo, as well as the reprint in the, the little volumes. I can't think of what they are called at the moment. Um, this is just random shoujo manga. Uh, Hanakimi. We do have the whole thing. I think that's it there. And then the end of it. Hands off. And then the side story. Handsome enough Kanojo. It's by the same author as Marmalade Boy. Happy Hustle High, I love, I reread this one all the time. Uh, Happy Marriage, Happy Mania, this is a really hard one for me to read. Just do not get along with that main character. And then Hard Boiled Angel by Hyun Si Lee is um, hmm, it's a pretty grim story, manhwa. Then we have Harlem Beat, we're missing volume one. Um, and this volume four is hilarious, like, look at the setting on that one. Um, but we are looking for volume one. And then I think we have all of Harlem Beat. And then the sequel to it is called Rebound, so that's why it's actually out of order. Um, volume one doesn't have the texture, but volume two actually has, um, I don't know, you can't really see it on the screen, but it's actually textured like a basketball grip on the spine, which is kind of amazing. Obviously a basketball manga, um, but I do have a whole thing that was published. It's quite long. Haruhana. It's okay. Haruka is a little bit of an awkward one. It's another uh, shoujo isekai manga. Um, I am missing volume 10. Hard to find. But I will read it sometime. The, it's, a, it's not the best. And then, haven't you heard on Sakamoto? If you like comedy at all, highly recommend. 
Ikai J, Eris and the Chauffeur. Uh, Hell Girl is pretty good. It's short stories, but it's a shoujo horror, which is nice. Uh, Helsing, we do not have the whole thing. Um, when we were collecting it, I believe we were told that, or we had thought that it was dropped, so we didn't keep looking, and then I think 910 came out, so uh, we're still looking. Uh, here is Greenwood, Her Majesty's Dog, Heroic Legend of Arslan, Hero Tales, uh, Hibiki's Magic, High Rise Invasion, that's new, High School Debut, that's one of my favorite shoujo manga, really cute. And then continuing on, High School Debut, if you want to read the end, it's only available in this 3-in-1. I can't remember who told me about it, but thank you. Uh, High School Girls it was actually a favorite series of mine for a while. It's um, it's not something I'd recommend, but it really, really reminds me of my high school experience. Uh, yeah, so if you've read it, you know how weird it is. Uh, Higurashi, When They Cry, we only have a little bit of it. And then it goes on to Hikaru no Go, and I'm not going to move everything because it keeps going to the front. And it goes to volume 23, highly recommend uh, any reader. Hikaru no Go is great. Uh, we also have it in Japanese because we like it so much, and the Japanese one is particularly nice because of the black-white black -white spines. Uh, Jen is currently reading volume 2, but I love it because of the Go or black and white stones, so they did that to the spine, which is lovely. Uh, Himuyuki and Rosion, Honey Blood, not that good. Honey and Clover I recently read again, and that was a powerful powerful read. You should check it out. Uh, Honey Hunt, I believe, was dropped. Honey Mustard, also dropped. Of course. It made it to volume four. Honey So Sweet, I didn't care for, so we didn't keep buying it. Maybe one day. Uh, Hot Gimmick. That's a favorite one that people like to hate on. I mean, for reason, or for good reason. Uh, Love ha oh, H.P. Lovecraft's The Hound. Uh, Hunter Hunter, and this one comes all the way to the front, so I'm not going to show you all of them. And uh, this is the first time I've actually noticed the new logo, so that's interesting. It got tiny there, and then they changed it, so... I know people have a hard time with it, but my collection is so big, and there's so many of the this situation going on that I really... I, I, I hardly notice. It's not a big deal at all. Um, anyway, we have to 36. I think we're caught up. Um, and then we have Volume 1 in Japanese, which I think we bought in Japan. J or Jen did. It's her series. And then Volume 17 in Chinese, I think. Uh, I don't know. From a sale for like a dollar. Um, I Am a Hero up to Volume 10. Uh, I See in a Sunflower. This is a Motohagio title, but it's got the Iguana Girl story in it. It's a bunch of short stories, and that I found um, really kind of moving, relatable. Um, so I wanted it in Japanese. I hate you more than anyone. Ooh, I have to get down here on the floor again. I hate you more than anyone. I love Banri Hidaka. This and Vivi Rose are my favorite of her series. Um, both were dropped by CMX. So up to volume 9, and then continues to volume 13 in Japanese, and then it was done. Um, but great title. They are kind of age gappy romance, but I just really, really love them, and the drawings in them are so beautiful. Um, Isle is another basketball manga. I think I have the whole thing. I got it. I think someone gave it to me for free, so. Anyway, let's check out the next row. Okay, so we're down here on the floor again. Um, keep going with Isle. It's Decently long. I love Halloween, Imadoki, uh, Immortal Rain. Oh, I gotta shift over. I don't think we have the whole thing, but we have till eight. Infinite Rivius, um, and then Initial D. I think we have most of it. Thirteen. It looks like we're missing some volumes here. Oh, <laughs> I know why. It's because I took them out so I can see the back. 14 through 30 is missing. 
So yeah, I thought we uh, still were looking for something. So initially we need volume 30. Innocent W. That's a creepy horror mo manga. If you want something really gruesome. Surprisingly gruesome. Instant Teen. Uh, this is one of the first manga that we owned. I Envy You, which is a uh, manhwa. I don't think this one is complete, but these last two volumes came out quite a bit later, I think. Uh, Inuyasha uh, have been picking at. Um, this is one I've picked up entirely in secondhand sales, um, and I've gotten through 1 to 10 and 17. And then Ion, Ion by Arena Tanamura, I'd recommend. Um, she's a, she definitely writes for a younger audience, but I think actually her short title is probably her best one. All right, and now the most awkward spot, the bottom at the back. Um, so we've got Eyes. Uh, it's an awkward series. I've never finished reading it. Um, one day. Oh, one of my favorite titles, Utah's Run a Kiss. As you know, my picture is in volume three, I think. It's also in Finder volume one, so that one's special. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. It's going to be mostly Hitazura. Uh, Jacko, the Galactic Patrolman, Japan, Jing, King of Bandits. Um, it's just sort of a random, I think those are postcards. Jump. Oh, let me see. Yeah, well, this is a book of postcards. So it's, it's hard to open. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny, destroying it. That's her book. And then I've got 1245 of Junk. Um, it's a short title. We have most of it now. And the front is the larger ones again. Um, you've seen this one quite often because I showed it in my video, my Q&A quite a lot. Uh, these are Nausicaa. I have one, three, four, five. I can't remember if it's six volumes in this edition, but um, they're just sort of cute. There's nothing in the jacket or anything extra special about them. And actually the print quality is pretty poor, but I love Nausicaa, as you know, so I'm collecting it. Uh, Neko Gahara, Stray Cat Samurai, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion in the flipped edition. Um, and then again in the big omnibus edition. Um, and then we have Neo Parasite, uh, both of the F and M for female and male artists. Uh, not Love But Delicious Foods, uh, Not Simple, Ode to Kirihito, and then a bunch of Oh My Goddess. But I don't think we have everything. And then some Oishimbo, which I think we do have everything. It's just on the next shelf. And since I'm down here, you might as well see I also have this stack of Shonen Jump manga. Um, there's a Yen Press one in there. And I think the very bottom is a Shoujo Beat one. But other than that, it's just Shonen Jump. Um, and we did buy them from the store. I don't think we had a subscription. And then there's Hana Toyume magazine, and then uh, Gatsune magazine at the top, and that's about it. One of the things about this collection is that um, not only are their books just sort of off the shelf because we have them on TBRs or we're currently reading them or we haven't put them back yet, but also we are adding to the collection constantly. And so you'll have noticed that I might even have had a haul video where I've talked about manga which aren't even going to be on these shelves because I filmed these before my last haul video. So it's just sort of like a very kind of organic thing, this collection. It moves around, it's always moving. Um, so it's just sort of an interesting thing to me to think about how it's not really as static as it sort of appears because they're just sitting on shelves. Um, anyway, just let me know um, what's the last manga that you bought and what's the last manga that you put on your TBR? So what's the, the thing that you've most recently been interested in reading? Really curious about that down below. Um, anyway, that's it for this part. Let me know if you're still here. Thanks for hanging in and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.